excuse me, Miss Bedell. A soldier. He said he's your brother Matthew. Matthew! I heard oh. you were pregnant. <laughs> hey, you must be due any minute. Couple more weeks, the doctor says. <laughs> Mad. Oh, I've been picturing you in Virginia. What are you doing in Mississippi? Fit got transferred. Need it, I'll tell her down here. Military position, it ain't good, Emmy. We've been taking some shells from across the river. There's talk of a siege. It's more than talk. Could I fetch something for Mr. Matthew? Oh, are you hungry? Starving. Have Bernice fix some food? As soon as I've had, I have to go on. Because all I've got is 12 hour pass, and I've used up most of it. You heard from the folks? Yeah, I got a letter from Ma about a month ago. She's fine, Pa's fine. Farm's getting by, just. Luke's in a prison camp in Maryland. And Mark's all right. I saw him before I left Virginia. Oh, well, that's it then. So far, so good. Family surviving. Ain't we forgetting someone? John's a traitor. I don't count him as part of this family. How's Lester? Busiest man in Vicksburg. He's upriver right now. Business trip. I thought the war wrecked his trade. Oh, nothing stops Lester. Not for long, anyway. He's doing just fine. I gather. Emma, you say he's upriver? Ain't nobody trade with upriver. Except Yankees. That's right. Feds are buying up all the cotton they can get. He's trading with feds. He's a smuggler. Some call him that. You let your husband trade with the enemy? You? Big patriot? You're acting dumb, Matt. Lester smuggles boatloads of cotton past the gunboats. He sells it to Yankee wagon trains up Memphis way. The money's used to buy medicines and stuff, which he smuggles back into Vicksburg. Can you imagine this whole city without medicines? Lester's doing plenty for our cause. Making himself a nice profit. Lester takes the risks. Why shouldn't he get paid for it? Mr. Matthew's meal is served, ma'am. Matt, you go ahead. I'll be right in. for me? How come? We're brothers. Last time I saw you, I called you a traitor. Yeah, I remember. You seen Emma? I seen her once in Vicksburg. Went to her house about a month back. Since then, her husband got herself killed. She's alone in that city or what's left of it? She's alone. Except for a baby. She had a boy, Jesse. Jesse? Probably starving with the rest of them. Ain't nothing I can do. We're spread out thin up here. Nobody leaves the front lines. You remember the address? 18 Newlet Street. What do you want it for? I don't know yet. You could do me a favor. Save some money to send them on, Paul. They probably need it. We're surrounded. Ain't no way I can get it to them. Yeah, I see it gets mail. We're holding up a war. I'm glad I saw you, Matt. John? Got something on my mind, John. Probably won't say it right. I've seen a lot of Yanks die for what they believe. Killed two of them myself. Close. If there weren't no hate in it. I've, I've grown up some, I reckon. I've learned a couple of things. To respect a man who stands up for what he thinks is right. Even if I think he's wrong. What I'm trying to say. 
that day back on the farm. If she'd have called you a traitor, you just took a different fork in the road. But you're right. We're still brothers. I saw you that time. Ah, Vicksburg was a year ago. I should have healed by now. She's healed all right. In the inch or in the other. War is over for me. So what's the word on Luke? Letter came last week. He's in prison. Point Lookout, Maryland. Says it's mighty rough. John, the news on Mark's worse. He's listed missing at the wilderness. He's dead, Matt. Listen again, soldier. That's cavalry. Maybe. That dust cloud, that's up around Clayton's store. It's like how we're doing up there. Last I heard, Fritz Lee was down around Gordonsville. That's a Yank cavalry, man. I was close on him this morning. The Yankees up that way. Our cavalry down here. We could wind up John between between. <laughs> 